going to go right this way. Heidi Pradell might know the inside of Freighter's Transplant Center better than anyone else. I'm just like interconnected multiple ways. The wife and mom of two young kids has been a transplant nurse here for more than a decade. That's much better. But today, she's not the one checking the vitals. These are all my pressures. She's a patient bringing 12 News with her exclusively to her first post-op appointment after getting a kidney transplant. She would be kind of a poster child of people who come in and do well. She would be the poster child. She's doing amazing. How are things? Amazing. I'm doing really well. I got my drain taken out. I got a staple taken out because the wound is looking really good. This was Heidi two weeks ago, willed off the very floor she works to cheers from colleagues who have become much more. They're my family. They know everything. So they were well informed about everything going on. They knew ahead of time. We first introduced you to Heidi in 2020. And now you're in need of a transplant yourself. When she found herself on the transplant list for the second time in her life, born with a rare genetic disorder, she needed her first transplant, a new liver, in 2005. Unfortunately, the rejection meds are a little harsh on the kidney. It's a, it's a, it's a side effect, so now I'm listed for a kidney transplant. Christmas came early this month when just days before starting dialysis, a match. So the night I actually got the call and came in, everyone was like running down the hallways, excited and congratulating me and hugging me, and everyone was so happy. So happy it was me that was coming in for this organ. It was just amazing. What a blessing is that to have been preparing to start dialysis and then to get the call that you can have surgery in a matter of hours. It's, it's a whirlwind. I'm still, my mindset hasn't quite sunk in yet. I mean, my life has totally changed. <laughs> back on the men, but not quite back to work, she's using the recovery time to share her story of the importance of organ donation. Yeah, it's like Christmas too, especially right now. I'm like. This is amazing because, you know, that precious soul, whoever, whoever that was, you know, I wouldn't be sitting here today talking to you guys had it not been for them. It's just amazing. In hopes of encouraging others to give the gift of life. One out of every six people know somebody who has needed or is on a transplant list, which means that the life you save could be your next door neighbor or even your family. <laughs> In Milwaukee, I'm Jaron Jordan, WISN 12 News.